Well, today's a bittersweet day. Um, recently, I've been looking at my limited run games collection for PS4 and just made the decision that I'm going to uh, sell it all off. So for those of you that don't know, limited run games um, is a company that um, takes games that were released only digital. There wasn't like a physical print copy. And they basically work with the, um, the game companies to... Uh, bring them out in a physical retail version. Uh, most of the the games that they release have a print run of like two to two to five thousand copies or something like that. Um, it's been a couple of years since I've bought any, but I was buying them like every week. I'd I'd buy whatever game it was, even if I didn't necessarily know what it was, just because of the the limited nature of it. It's one of those where I think it was like nine o'clock or something that they dropped the game. And usually by like 9.05, all the copies are, are gone. So just, just getting them sometimes is a, a challenge. They do, once in a while, have games that they put out there that are like pre-order. And they'll print to demand. Um, and then and then stop after that. Um, East, East Origins was, was one that I bought. I think I got three copies. Oh yeah, that's the other thing is they have a, a limit of two per person to kind of keep, um, keep it from. Instead of one person buying all of them. So yeah, pretty pretty cool concept. I'm really glad that they're flourishing. But for me personally, it got to be where uh, it started where it was every couple weeks there'd be a game that came out. And um, it got to a point where like every week there'd be two or three games and I just couldn't keep up with it, especially at you know, $30, $30 per game times. Um, I pretty much always bought two copies if I could because the shipping um, was $5. So I, I tried to break that up between a couple items. So yeah, just uh, just wanted to go through and show you off or show off um, the collection that I have accumulated, and that way, if five ten years down the line, I see a game that's like hundred thousand dollars. I'm like, dang it, I had that. Why did I let it go? Um, I can just forever uh, live in that moment. So, first stack I'm going to start with is one that I uh, sold uh, last night on a limited run games Facebook group. So that that was a good spot to to check instead of doing eBay and um, you know I, I have better luck with like local Facebook listings where people can actually look at the game and make sure it's what they want rather than eBay and have to pay fees and shipping and then um, once in a while someone will return something because they changed their mind or it's it's you know for whatever reason not what they expected so yeah I sold sold a, uh, a pile last night and then um, have quite a few inquiries on a lot of the other stuff so i'm hoping it moves pretty quickly here um but yeah so first one we got kreuzler sigma i think this is a fighting like a fighting style game again i don't know what um what all these games are spelunky played a little bit of this um i think it was maybe a playstation plus game at, at some point i know i played it on ps3 as well Kind of a, like a cave explorer, you go down, you collect uh, different treasures to get points and whatnot. Um, and you go down, each each um, level gets harder and harder as you work your way down. Musinx. Um, I have another copy of this somewhere in here that has a different cover. Um, I think this is, yeah, this just looks like a, a rhythm, rhythm style game. Um, that's the other thing too, is a lot of these games, they have two, two cover variants or sometimes more. So with, when I ordered two of this one, they sent me one of each, and I believe it's reversible. So um, the reversible side of this is the uh, sealed cover of the other version, if, if that makes sense. Um, Fallen Legion. Haven't played this. Again, this is one that, um, that I had bought a few years ago on PS4 and still haven't played yet. Uh, I think it's more of like a... Oh, I wouldn't say tactical, but, but sort of along those lines, role-playing. Uh, Cyrilim got, oh, should have started with the first one here. So Cyrilim kind of has like an old school fe uh, RPG feeling to it. Um, reminds me of a lot of the, um, there's a lot of, uh, companies that make these kind of smaller RPGs that are, that are digital. You see them come out like every month. So I haven't, haven't played this again. I, I have a lot of these digitally, which is another reason I'm not too sad that, that the collection's going, but there's a sequel, and I believe there was a third one. Correct me if I'm wrong, but um, 
third Salem. Then we got a platformer, uh, won a ton of game of the game of the year type awards. Uh, Celeste heard great things about this. It's on my on my backlog, but again, uh, time time is uh, uh, in short supply these days, and my backlog is growing, growing, growing. We got a uh, shoot 'em up, Cladrius Blaze. Uh, we have a uh, kind of a 2D uh, Dark Souls s game is uh, Salt and Sanctuary. Another one that I've heard great things about. Um, I don't. I, I think I did actually buy that. I, um, usually, I'll try to pick these up on like a, a PSN sale uh, if I can get them for you know a decent price, and then they just sit there for years and years until I finally play them. But with the recent uh, PS3, PS Vita, PSP um, server shutdown, you know, all that drama that unfolded, that that is another reason why um, companies like Limited Run exist. It's to preserve the game that um, 10 years down the line, you know, PS3 probably won't have the, the PlayStation 3 store up um, for, for a ton of years yet. So once the, they shut that down if you don't have the games downloaded locally or what we're hearing um, lately is like even that's not a 100% safe um, measure either because you can your system can brick and you basically lose everything so having them on disc and preserved physically um, helps to keep the game for really forever unless those games get you know lost or damaged but uh, yeah the, it's definitely an important aspect so Wanted to highlight that, that super cool uh, uh, company. So that was that was the end of the stack that I that I sold last night. Got to ship those out today. We got Xenon Valkyrie, which I believe is a uh, um, Metroidvania game. We got Toe Jam and Earl. I know I have a, another copy in here somewhere. Got a new Toe Jam and Earl. Remember playing those back in the day? Uh, a little platformer game on uh, Sega. We got Rabby Ribby. This is, is one that's gotten uh, a whole bunch of, I don't know if it's because of the, the content in it or if it's just that great of a game. It just seems like a normal uh, uh, kind of platformer, kind of like Mario style. We got the Metronomicon Slay the Dance Floor. Been wanting to play this for a while. I never did really find this on sale, but uh, seems like a good one to play with a, a group of, of people. So... I really like the Jackbox Party Pack games, but I think this this one, if I see it at a decent price, I'm gonna um, explore. It's it's got some role playing elements to it. It doesn't show any pictures of the gameplay, but um, from what I've seen, it's got a little bit of rhythm. Like they're different sands, uh, different songs, kind of like DDR, and you do different button presses, and there you get like equipment and um, you know magic attack, all this kind of stuff. So I think you have to kind of keep the rhythm with it, and also uh, attack your enemies. So, seems pretty cool. Got another uh, Chrysler Sigma here. Again, another, just a, a fighting game. Um, duplicate Serulum 2. I know I have another Serulum. Might as well get the duplicates out of the way. Fallen Legion. Dragon Fantasy. That's another one. I have played this one. Um, I believe there's three now. There's... Uh, I can't remember all the, the names of the sequel, but um, there are three of them. This one's pretty fun. It's, it's a lot like, um, obviously, it's a play on Dragon Quest, Dragon Warrior, and Final Fantasy. So it plays a lot like uh, Dragon Warrior 1 is what I would compare it to most. Um, Chemco, that's that's the game that makes all these all these games. I, I swear, it's like every month there's a new one that comes out. And, um, I feel like they just put their the names, they put them through a generator to come up with them because there's some really weird, weird, wacky ones. But kind of the same theme where it's like this older... 8-bit role-playing game style. So Dragon's, uh, Dragon Sinker is another one. We've got Cronus Arc. Same kind of concept, except this one uh, has a little better graphics. more like the... Um, I don't know what this would be. Not quite Super Nintendo, but maybe one step up from there. It's at 32-bit. 30, Super Nintendo, I think, is 16-bit. Someone correct me. Again, if I'm wrong, I'm not a, not a tech guy, so... Yeah, N++, this is another one that's gotten, this is a, a thick, you know, some of these have a ton of stuff, like a old school manual, and 
That's what I miss most about games is um, being able to have a solid um, case, either you know a, a map or a poster or something in, inside. So I'm not really sure what this one's about, but I think it's it's some sort of a platformer. As Divine Hearts is another um, Chemco with the same like 32-bit or whatever, one step up above uh, Super Nintendo. Here's that other Musings um, cover. So the other one had this one on the reversible side. So again, they give you options there. Got another As Divine Hearts. Flame in the Flood, this one I've heard great things about. Won some awards. I think it's kind of like a simulator of, of a forest. East Origins, this is the one that I was, uh, I am holding on to a copy. East is one of my favorite uh, favorite series, so it goes well with uh, my East, East 8 and East 9 um, on the shelf there. Battle Chef Brigade. Brigade. Thought this was a cool, uh, cool concept. It's um, it seems kind of like a Tetris almost, but you're you're battling against other people, and and it's all meal really related, obviously. Got another Metronomicon, another Toe Jam and Earl. Uh, Exiles End is an X Seed game, so I thought that was interesting. They uh, they publish a lot of their own own games, so I was surprised that this one. Uh, I don't know if it just wasn't uh, popular enough, but again, seems like a pretty fun game. Bastion, this is one that I have played. I have beat this one. Uh, it's from uh, Supergiant Games, who do uh, they do uh, a couple other um, games. I'm trying to think off the top of my head. There's, uh... oh man, what was that? Ah, I'll I'll remember as soon as I stop uh, the video, but. Yeah, another uh, kind of action platformer. Uh, what I love about this is the the narrator kind of narrates everything that's going on that you're doing, every uh, um, action, as well as um, the, the world kind of forms around you. So while you're moving, things are, are building. Really cool, uh, really cool game. We got Typo Man, revised. Yep, so you're, it's a, a platformer game. You're running around... Uh, Finding Letters, I believe. We got Senko no Rande 2. Um, what is, is this a, I think this is a shoot 'em up, um, like fighting style game. I really like the, the cover to that one. Yeah, Cosmic Star Her Heroine. Another one that, uh, man, this is probably the, the heaviest one of the whole bunch. And, um, I've heard a lot of people compare it to almost like uh, Chrono Trigger, which of course is my absolute favorite game. So again, not uh, they're kind of surprised I have not played it, but I do have it downloaded. One of these days when I find some time, start working through that backlog. We've got Kingdom New Lands. Not entirely sure what that one is about. We've got Lily. I know this one's a, a platformer. Um, got got decent decent reviews. I heard uh, some of some of it can be kind of uh, glitchy, but I feel like that's a lot of games. We got Carol Blaster. Um, I'm trying to think of what to compare this to. Um, yeah, it's almost. I, I think it was kind of like a, a almost like a Tetris style type of game. Another Dragon Fantasy. We have Oregon Trail, which is a play on Oregon Trail, complete edition. So, a lot like uh, Oregon Trail, you're you're uh, heading west with four yeah with four friends and uh, scavenging for supplies, fending off the undead. Got Thimbleweed Park. Heard d decent things about this one as well. It's kind of uh, I think this has like the text text uh, style adventure. Yeah. Of the old, uh, yeah, it's even got the old uh, DOS set up there. We got another Chemco. We got Antiqua Lost. Another role-playing game. Copy of Cosmic Star uh, Heroine. Revenant Saga. So they've made a couple couple sequels to this one. Uh, another Chemco game. 
this is the one that uh, I've been wanting to play. I think there's um, Dogma something is, is the sequel. Dogma Saga, maybe. We got Momodora. Another sort of uh, uh, 2D platformer style game. Almost done here. Another Antiqua Lost. Got another Xenon Valkyrie Plus. Got 2064 Read Only Memories. And I believe this is a, um, a point and click. Yep, 10 hours of classic point and click adventure gameplay. Another one I've heard, heard good things about. This is one I'm sad to see go is uh, Wonder Boy the Dragon's Trap. It's even got the old, uh, was that the Master System um, cover to it. So uh, Wonder Boy is a, uh, a classic um, game series and I'm glad this it's starting to get a, a breath of new life. So um, one more duplicate here. We got Revenant Saga again. And then final one is Crawl. Haven't heard a ton about this one, but uh, it seemed almost like it was a uh, like old school gauntlet, like on NES style game. So yeah, quite a bit. I think there's almost 50 games. Um, three, yeah, I got them on the shelf here. Three more that I am keeping are Plague Road. I have this one downloaded. Actually, I have all, all three of these downloaded, so I'm keeping them sealed. Um, we got Plague Road. Ocean Horn, which is, uh, I hear a lot like uh, Zelda, almost like a cross between Zelda and uh, Rainbow Moon. And then One Way Heroics, which is almost reminding me of uh, uh, Suikoden from uh, PS1, PS2 era. So yeah, about 50, 50 games here. Again, sad to see them go, but uh, they're going to go to collectors that will go on to preserve them and Hopefully I don't see any of these on the news selling for record amounts, but um, yeah, I, I kind of came to the conclusion that they're just sitting sealed on my shelf. Um, I've got no, no time to be playing the games that I, that I already have open, let alone these, these sealed ones. So uh, a lot of them I do have digitally, so if I do get a chance, I will play through them. Um, hope you enjoyed the video. Again, just wanted to, to document my collection before I start shipping it out. Hope you enjoyed.